All right, good afternoon, punks and lovelies. Welcome to the Caffeinated Bookworm. I was not planning on doing this video, but there were so many good book deals that are out today. I didn't want to wait because with a lot of the book deals that I get in my email, they don't last. So what's on sale today might not be on sale tomorrow, so I wanted to go over a couple of them with you. Um, first of all, if you live in the Columbus area of Ohio, there's a couple of things going on with some of the smaller town libraries. First of all, Delaware County District Library is having their annual plant sale. This year they're not just selling flowers and hanging baskets, but they're also selling uh, peppers and tomatoes. And so if that's something that interests you, um, again, that's at the Delaware County District Library system. Also, the Marion Library is having an ongoing book sale. Now, my sister-in-law sent me the link to this yesterday, and I had to go. Unfortunately, my daughter had been sick yesterday, so I had to wait for, for my husband to get home. Um, but then I definitely went out there. I spent a little bit too much money on books, so a lot of these book deals I'm not going to be buying today. I did buy a few of them, um, but there's so many good ones out today. Even if I can't take advantage of them, I had to share them with you. Um, so this one is a new release drop. This is not a book deal. I'm sorry, I'm going to have a few new release drops in here also. The first one is a new release drop and it's a new novel by um, Jeff Vandermeer. And so if you remember Annihilation, if you read that, I haven't. Um, it did sound like a good book. I, I think I do have it. Um, but this is the same author and it's called Hummingbird Salamander and it sounds so fascinating. Um, the premise is a taxidermied hummingbird is left in a storage unit and the key is sent to a security consultant. The security consultant then got, kind of gets wrapped up in this um, potentially world changing climate mystery theme um, because the person who left the hummingbird in the storage unit was a an eco-terrorist who had just died and so just reading the premise of that it sounded so good I wanted to share that with you. Um, Book Riot also sent me some kidlet deals. Um, I haven't read any of these and I am going to be purchasing one of them. Um, I probably won't be reviewing any kids books. I don't leave reviews for kids books that I read, generally speaking, on Goodreads either. I used to, but it messed with my annual books read, and so I, st I stopped doing that a couple of years ago. The first one is Becoming Brianna, which is a graphic novel by Terry Livinson and part of her Emmy and Friends series. As you know, I'm not a fan of comics or graphic novels, but for those of you who are, this is on sale for $4 today. The next one is Spirit Hunters by Ellen O, which is on sale for $2. We Dream of Space by Erin and Trada Kelly for $2. And then, and this is the main reason that I'm including these kidlit deals in this um, in this video, we have Naomi Shiab Nye. And I've, I've mentioned this before, I'm, I'm geeking out right now, I'm, I've mentioned this before, I'm a huge poetry nerd and she is one of my favorite poets. And when I saw this on there, I had to click on it. This is a book from 2009. The Turtle of Oman. It is a novel. It is 309 pages and it's listed as being geared towards ages 8 to 12. Um, and it sounds like it's mainly to do with family as it follows a ref Al Amri as his family plans to move from Omar, o Oman to Michigan. He doesn't want to go and embarks on some impromptu adventures with his grandfather CE. Um, this is one of the ones that I am going to be purchasing um, because it just so, sounds so interesting. April, by the way, is National Poetry Month. Um, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, so, on to other books. These are not kid lit deals going forward. I also got an email from Book Riot that Jennifer McMahon, and this is another book drop, Jennifer McMahon, who wrote The Winter People, which I absolutely adored, has dropped another book called The Drowning Kind. Um, I can't wait to read that. Um, she, I think that she is a very good writer. Um, I, I adored the Winter People, the the prose in it, the imagery, the descriptions. It was it was one of my um, favorite books by an author who's not necessarily horror. It's more thriller, chilling kind of atmosphere, but it was really good. I can't go over the synopsis of all of these because. I will never get off of this and I have um, other stuff to do so um, 
I have to go back and redo my 15 page story that I wrote for my anti uh, fiction writing class but now I also have a play that I need to write for my intro to or no advanced poetry writing class I have a play to write and that's gonna be fun um, so this is also from Book Riot. Sorry, I'm subscribed to everything from Book Riot, and they have a lot of subscriptions that you can sign up for. They have comics, they have kid lit, they have mystery thrillers, they have romance, they have everything. And I'm every time I sign up for something from Book Riot, it asks you, would you like to just sign up for them all? And I just click on that, so I get all of these. So um, this is an uh, advertisement from Book Riot for a YA book. Um, pitch to win $2,000 plus, $2, plus coaching. So if you're writing a, 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 if you're writing a YA novel or you plan to, or you're finished with your YA novel, but you haven't submitted it anywhere yet, Book Riot um, has a link to www.thevoyagejournal.com who has that um, contest to where you can win the $2,000 plus coaching and and that sounded interesting I thought I'd just throw that out there so Amazon Amazon is a hit or miss for me because sometimes the emails that I get from Amazon are solely about books that have been published through um, Amazon publishing um, sometimes it's they're they're not books that I think I would be interested in um, there's a lot of like I don't know what to call them, like B rated books, I guess. <laughs> like, um, but there was some really interesting um, books in the email that came through from Amazon today, and I'm so geeking out because Bloody Rose, Nicholas Eames, um, Eames, Ames. Um, so this is the second book in the Kings of the Wild series, and if I wasn't so set on getting the hard copy versions of these books. I would definitely buy this one. It is on sale today for $2.99. Um, again, that's Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames, part of the Kings of the Wild series. Um, I was really surprised to see this in the Amazon email today. Also, like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel, which is a magical realism book um, that takes place at the turn at the turn of the century in Mexico. Um, now, I've read this. This is not my favorite book, but it is part of my favorite genre, which is magical realism. Um, I'm biased because of a couple different things. First of all, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am half Mexican. My mom is full-blooded Mexican. Her parents didn't speak English. My grandfather sold watermelons out of the back of his truck. Um, I think my mom is actually third third generation. Um, and so I am biased for this book for, I'm biased um, uh, about this book for two reasons. Um, first of all, you know, it's magical realism. And secondly, it's Mexican magical realism. It has a lot to do with uh, cooking, which is a huge part of the Mexican culture. Um, I guess that's not really fair to say. Cooking is a huge part of any culture, I imagine. Um, but it has a lot of cooking in it. Um, it. It's got some really neat, like, mysterious aspects of it. Um, the magical side of it. It's got a lot of romance in it. Um, it so it, it was like reading, I don't know if you're familiar with Mexican novellas. So if you watch Mexican TV, um, Telemundo, um, there's novellas and so this is like a mini magical realism novella in a book it's it's it, it was it was pretty good um, that's on sale today for $1.99 um, also Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan is on sale for $1.99 Among the Lesser Gods by Margot Katz is on sale I didn't write down the price Ooh, um, I imagine it's $1.99 possibly $2.99 um, again these are all the prices that at the time that I'm recording this, this is what they're on sale for today. I don't usually check other platforms other than Kindle. I do have um, my Nook books, my Google Play books, my Walmart ebooks. I have almost all of the book ebook platforms. But the main one that I utilize is Amazon Kindle, and the reason for that is because I got tired of tracking down which platform I had which book on and so I just moved to purchasing most of them from from Amazon um, okay so some deals from Black Rose writing um, and this is a smaller publishing company um, but some of them sounded really good you have rewrite the stars by Christina Consolino um, which is free today missions by Mark McGuire which is on sale for 99 cents the end of cake by Sean Sillick which is also free um, and then, there's something else from Black Rose writing that I wanted to share. 
but I lost it. It was something about an author. Um, this is not a deal or free, um, but Simon & Schuster sent an advert for Astrid Sees All by Natalie Standiford, along with a video of the author discussing the book. Um, that sounds really interesting, the premise of it. Um, it's, I think it takes place in 1980s New York City, um, and it was referred to as gritty. I can't remember the exact word, but it sounded really interesting, and so that's something you might want to look into also. Book Barbarian's free book of the day is <sighs> Blow, Three Little Pigs Retold. Um, so I know we've all run into the retellings of everything from Beauty and the Beast to etc. at all. Um, I personally haven't seen any retellings of the Three Little Pigs, um, so this is definitely something that caught my eye and I've already downloaded it. Am I going to read it? I'm going to try to read it. Am I going to read it all? That remains to be seen. What I can gather um, is that it takes place in a war-torn war -torn country and a prince promises to protect three princesses, which are the three little pigs. Um, but then something happens to the prince's father. He either dies or he's injured, but he's taken out of the war. I guess he's on the front lines or something. And the prince has to go and take his father's place, which leaves the three princesses unprotected and a wolf comes to the door. Um, I don't know. We will see. I, if, I, if I do end up reading it um, and reading it all, I'll definitely leave a review on that because it's one of the more interesting and quirky and eye-raising books that are out there. The front cover has a Robin, -S, Robin Hood-esque looking guy on the front with a bow and arrow. So it doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Um, it's not something that I would normally go for. Um, I have read a couple of retellings, most of them pertaining to the Nutcracker, um, but we'll see. Also from Book Barbarian, Dark by Paul L. Arvidsson, um, which is 99 cents today. Um, and I was going to read you the synopsis from the email because it sounds really good. And the synopsis is on the device that I'm using to record this, so you don't get the synopsis. Go look it up. Um, Dragon Assassin, and this is an omnibus, so this is books one through eight. Um, this is another one of those things that I said the Book Barbarian is really good about. Um, they will usually send something that's on sale for like the whole series. Um, for anywhere from 99 cents to 4.99, I think is the highest that I've seen it. Um, so this is again Dragon Assassin by Arthur Slade, books one through eight, and it is on sale for 99 cents today. Lies the Guardians Tell by Herman Stewernagel is on sale for 74 cents, and the reason that I'm including this is not because I was going to have a hard time pronouncing that last name, but because it's on sale for 74 cents. I've never seen anything on sale for 74 cents before. There you go. And of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. I know I've run across that name before, Ryan Cahill. I'm not certain if it's other books that I've run across in Book Barbarian or not, but I know I've run across the name, so I'm, I'm going to go check that out. Barnes & Noble, today's Nook Daily Find, is for Helen McInnes books. She was a librarian turned author, and there's three books on sale. They're all $2.99. Um, you have Above Suspicion, which I believe is the first book that she ever wrote, The Salzburg Connection, and The Venetian Affair. I haven't looked into these too much. I just thought I'd share them because they're three books by the same author, and I love I love when that happens. Sometimes you run into like your favorite author, and they've had like they have a whole bunch of books on sale. I love that. Button Poetry sent me this yesterday. Button Poetry is something that I signed up for um, solely because of my advanced poetry writing class. It's something that my professor recommend, recommended um, and I did sign up for it so I get information from them all the time. Um, I would recommend going and checking them out if you're um, even marginally into poetry. They're, they're really good. Um, they did send an advert about a book job and this is Born in a Second Language by 2019 Button Poetry Prize winner Please Forgive Me Akosu Zimba Aferi Hweti. And I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I know I butchered that all over the place, up and down Main Street. I am so sorry. But it sounds like a really good book. It is scheduled for release on July 6th. And right now on Button Poetry, signed pre-orders are available. I will put I will post the link in the description below. Evil also sent me this yesterday. I did go and I made sure that these books were still on sale at the time that I recorded this just so I wouldn't be giving you 
um, outdated information. They have some YA books on sale. It looks like this. That's the name of the book. It looks like this by Rafi Middlefe, Middlefelt, Middlefelt, and that's on sale for dollar ninety nine. Rural Voices, which is by various authors, like it has short stories in it. It's on sale for two ninety nine. Read Between the Lines by Joe Knowles is on sale for dollar ninety nine. The Light Fantastic by Sarah Combs is on sale for two ninety nine. Below by Meg McKinley is on sale for two ninety nine. Off the Shelf also sent me yesterday some recommendations for spring. Hannah House by Nomi Eve for $1.99. Ohio by Stephen Markley for $1.99 and I've already bought this. Ohio by Stephen Markley has been on my radar for a long time. We read a book in the book club that I'm in for work, um, Dreamland by Sam Quinones and that's about the opioid crisis and I have gone nuts with books about this. Um, so this is this is on this is on my list and I and I think that's the reason that it's on here. I might be misremembering that. Please forgive me if that's the case. Um, Carolina Mist by Mariah Stewart is on sale. Also, I didn't write that down either. I believe it's a dollar ninety nine. Um, another book drop. This was sent to me yesterday from QuickBooks. Whisper Down the Lane by Clay Chapman, and that looks like a rather interesting book. I believe it is fourteen ninety nine at the moment. Um, I have to end sometime. Um, I really, really wanted to share the books that I got at the book sale yesterday, but I'm going to force myself to save it for my book haul at the end of the month because I am really looking forward to not only sharing that with you, but also gauging how much I actually buy a month. Um, I will go to, I know I've said this before, but I'll go to like Goodwills, I'll go to Half Price Books, I'll go to even Yard Sales. Sometimes I'll find some really good books there. Um, we haven't been to one since we moved to Ohio, I don't think. Um, an antique shops, um, flea markets, and library book sales. And I'll go there and I'll buy just like a whole bunch of books. I'm, I have a problem. I know I have a problem. I don't intend to do anything about my problem. Um, I know we've all seen the memes about what it could be. It, it could be something else other than books that I have a problem with. Um, but it's books. And coffee. Um, but I wanted to also, first of all, um, give a shout out to everybody who watched my Malazan review. I have over a hundred views now. I didn't, I didn't expect that to happen anytime soon because um, I'm still a, a newbie to this whole uh, booktube thing. Um, also, um, the Command Zone has dropped a review of one of the newer sets. Um, of Magic the Gathering cards that are coming out, and I noticed that there are some Reliquary Towers and Soul Rings in the set. Um, I am so sorry to include this in, in, in my video, but I, I love Magic the Gathering, and I think that it's a really good way to get people who like to play games into reading, because there's a lot of reading. There's a bazillion cards in, the, in, in Magic the Gathering. There's always new sets being dropped. Um, we are waiting for our most recent um, purchase of the Secret Layers to come in, um, which I believe is fairies. Um, it was a romance thing that, that dropped um, around Valentine's Day. Um, so we're waiting for that to come in. Um, but I was really excited when I saw that the Reliquary Tower was going to be included in the set, especially since it's going to be at a lower price than I would normally purchase the Reliquary Tower set, and I love to use those in all my decks. Um, also, Q and TG have made it to the completion of their March Madness, um, their, their Fantasy March Madness. Um, I'm going to include the link in the description, but I am going to include the link to the first video for their March Madness, their Fantasy March Madness, because you have to watch the entirety of it. It is such a pleasure watching them converse and talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the characters who were included in the Fantasy March Madness. I really enjoyed watching the whole series. I'm probably going to go and watch it from beginning to end all at once, um, just so I can have that experience. It was, it was really fun to watch. Um, I haven't gotten around to watching um, the Russian Lord of the Rings, but I did see that Daniel Green um, did watch about 20 minutes of it. He said he couldn't make it after that. Um, it's kind of concerning to me because I really wanted to be something awesome, especially since it has Tom Bombadil in it. Um, but I still plan on going and watching it. Um, that's probably not going to be tomorrow. Um, we are usually busy at my job on Thursdays 
and also I have my Arthurian Legends class and so I have to um, read the section of the book that I'm supposed to read out of Le Mort de Arthur. Um, so I have that going for me tomorrow. So I'm probably not going to get to watch it tomorrow. I'm going to try for Friday. And if I can get it done by Friday, by the time I post my end of the week video on Friday, then yay. So, all right. And that is it for today. One of my longer videos so far. Um, but I just wanted to share those um, book drops, book deals, free books with you. Um, I will also include a link to the bookish subscriptions video that I did. Um, last week I believe it was um, that kind of goes over some of the booker subscriptions that I have signed up for um, again they will send you deals um, free books books on sale um, book drops um, contests and giveaways that you can enter really really great stuff to to be signed up for um, if you are as big of a nerd as I am so thank you so much for watching like and subscribe below and you have a wonderful day punks and lovelies